In this video we're going to look at the remains of the Kippo Railway. It was dismantled about a year ago. We have now moved house to Dunfermline. We took everything with us apart from the track bed and the ballast, although I do regret not taking the ballast. These are the last shots that were ever taken of the Kippo Railway. One thing that I'll really miss about the old railway uh, was the moss. It was growing really nicely amongst the track and it looks quite realistic. We're also going to go for lower quadrant signals on the new railway, following a Great Western theme. One thing I won't miss about the old railway was the 8 foot curve radius. This meant that it was difficult to run trains at high speed. We are now going to look at the new railway which I've been building. This railway is different in the sense that there is not concrete on the ground and there isn't a wooden base around the station area. Uh, we had a lot of concrete slabs left over in the garden when we moved in, so we decided to make a new layout using these slabs. So around the station area they're built onto the ground and as the railway flows around the garden uh, the pillars are raised up on bricks. Here you can see me cutting the slabs with a still saw and using a long tape measure from a little stick stuck in the ground to form the centre of the curve. This was actually quite a good fun job, I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately I didn't have enough concrete slabs to go all the way around the garden so the middle section had to be made using wood. So this is the maiden voyage of the first train around the track. We chose the little, the little shunter because it will show up any problems with the track as it only has four wheels and no suspension. I did find a couple of nails that weren't hammered quite the way in to hold the sleepers in place. This area that is passing now is where the station will be later on in the video. At this point here I'm hoping to add some more sidings in front of the holly bush and behind the bench. Um, these will be connected um, to the inside loop which is yet to be put in. This is later on in the year. Uh, we have some shrubs and a new platform put in. The Hunslet saddle tank is back in action after a new battery and new speed controller. It can now run on the same radio as all of the other locos, which is a Deltang based system. In the time between having no railway and building the new one, I have been making some new coaches. We have four new Mark I coaches. We have a 57 foot suburban non-corridor coach, two BSOs and a TSO. I'm also building another three TSOs currently and a suburban brake as well.